guys welcome back okay so today I decided to go ahead and play around in some new items that I got a lot of different brands not just all one brand and I think for the most part it's affordable one item might not be affordable or considered affordable but for the most part everything is pretty much affordable um I have a new bronzing palette from Essence that I tried out. I have a ColourPop eyeshadow palette. This is the Flutterby palette. I also have new blush and highlighter from Milani, as well as their rose water spray. So yeah, if you'd like to see how I created this kind of lavender look and this whole face and my thoughts on these products, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, my intention today was to do a blue eye look. <laughs> so I had on all my blue, but I will change later. I'm starting out this look today, trying out this LA Girl Brow Pomade. Now, I picked this up from Ulta because I wanted to try something new. Although I love my e.l.f., I wanted to see if I was missing out on anything. And I really do like the shade of this brow pomade. I got the dark brown. It has a little bit more slip than I like, but it worked out. I'm also trying a new eyebrow kit from Wet n Wild. This one is the ultimate brow kit and I'm just going in with the darkest powder and using that to set that brow pomade. And I think it really helped a lot to keep my brows in place all day by setting it with the powder. Now to further clean up my brows, I'm using what I always use and this is just my Wet n Wild concealer and I'm just using that to clean up around my brows and try and give them a halfway decent shape. Now to set my lids, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is the multi-use sculpting concealer. Haven't used it in a while, so I decided I wanted to go ahead and pull it out and use it to prep my lids today. Now this eyeshadow palette, you guys, this is the Fu Flutter Bly, <laughs> I can't say that, eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. And this is really not my type of color scheme. It's a little bit too muted, too cool tone. But I'll be honest, the packaging got me with this palette. The packaging was so cute with the little butterflies. I just had to get it. So these are the swatches and it's actually a really, really cute, nice palette. Kind of has a mauve tone to it. So the first shadow I'm going in is the darkest one. It's called Float On. And it's not black. It's kind of like a mix between some kind of a dark charcoal with like a hint of, I don't know, mauve. It's just, it's a really nice dark shade for this palette. But I'm just taking that in my outer corners and dragging it into the crease. Next, I'm going into Angel BB. And this is like a deep burgundy matte shadow and I'm just placing that kind of on top of the edge of that first dark shadow because I wanted to add a little element of color but I still wanted to keep it that deep dark smoky look. Now for my inner corner and to blend out the edges I'm going into Mariposa and this is a very muted mauve shade is kind of like a mix between a mauve and a lavender but it's very muted and so it's the perfect shadow for this look to just kind of dust that in the inner corner and use it also to blend out the edge of my outer corners so it's not so harsh with those darker shadows and this shadow has you know it has that like hint of glitter in it which you can't really see too much but it, it's in there now I also wanted to pick up this Super Shock shadow from this collection and it's called Flying Circus. When I saw this Super Shock swatched, I fell in love. It is so beautiful and glittery. It's like a really pretty light pink lavender type shadow and it was just so so gorgeous I had to pick it up. So I'm placing this on my lid as you can see with a brush. Typically Super Shock shadows show up better when you use your finger, but let's all say it together. 
Camille does not use her fingers to put on shadows. So as you can see, I'm using a brush and it's actually working out just fine. Now I'm going back into Angel BB, that burgundy shade, and I'm just using that in my outer corner, gently tapping it to blend out the edge of that super shock as well as make sure that it's nicely blended in my crease area as well. Now I wanted a little more pop, so I decided I wanted to use the glitter in this palette, but first I'm putting on a little bit of my NYX glitter glue before I place that glitter down because I don't wanna have glitter all over my face. So the glitter shade is called Overpacked. It is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, it goes very, very nicely with that Super Shock shadow. So it's like the Super Shock is a really nice base to put down before the glitter because it just adds that extra punch of pop and shimmer. It's so pretty. And as you can see, I'm really just placing it on the upper portion of my crease because I don't want to have issues trying to put eyeliner on top of this glitter. Now I'm just cleaning up a very small amount of fallout and a little bit of glitter that did land on my cheeks. I was tired of looking at this blue, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on some purple. <laughs> so here we are, put on a little purple bow and my moon earrings from my girl's boutique, DJ's Unique Boutique. If you like these moon earrings, go ahead and check it out. I always have her linked in my description box so you can see what she has going on in her boutique. So as you can see, I'm just placing some black liquid eyeliner for a, eyeliner for a wing today, but I also wanted to add just a little bit more lavender to this look. So I'm taking one of my Handayan eyeliners and just placing a little bit of this lavender shade, a very thin line right on top of that black liquid eyeliner. And I think it really added a nice pop of lavender to this eye look. Now moving on to the face. For primer today, I'm using my Becca Skin Love, and this is a Brighten and Blur Primer. I really like this primer, you guys. I know I've said it before. It just is extremely moisturizing, but along with being moisturizing, it does a really nice job of blurring out my skin and helping to fill in my pores. For foundation, I'm going in with the new Milani Screen queen foundation i cannot say that screen queen foundation i'm using the shade 480 which is a spiced toffee caramel just using a damp pawpaw sponge to blend that all over my face and i would say for this foundation it has nice coverage very nice coverage it's definitely buildable and I feel like it gives me a nice hydrated finish. I wouldn't say it's super duper dewy on me, but my face does look nicely hydrated. Now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. It has a satin finish and I'm just using that to further conceal the dark circles under my eyes as well as, you know, my mustache and beard, <laughs> all of that good stuff. And I decided I wanted to go in with a brush today for blending because I wanted to get maximum coverage. And you guys know when you use a sponge, it kind of takes away some of the product and I didn't want to have to deal with that today. So I'm just using a smaller fluffy brush to blend out that concealer on those highlighted and concealed areas. Now to set my face today, I'm using this um, Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. And it's just a loose translucent powder. I got it in my BoxyCharm, I believe. And I'm using a soft, fluffy brush to just gently tap a small amount of that under my eyes and in the rest of the highlighted areas on my face. I really wanted to try this powder out because I don't really gravitate towards, you know, the white translucent powders. I usually go for 
like the deep tones or even more like almondy you know banana type shades because I like the way that those colors look under my eyes when they brighten I also like them to add just a small amount of that almond color as well and with this as you can see it is translucent but I can still see just a hint of white and for me I don't really like that but it's not a big deal because I go in with a darker powder to set my face Speaking of which, I'm setting my face with this Milani translucent medium to deep loose powder today. I normally use a pressed powder to set my face, but I decided to try out this loose powder to actually set my face. And it turned out really nice. I mean, I'm just using a soft fluffy brush, tapping just a little bit of that powder out of the lid and placing it on my face and as you can see it's definitely taking care of that little small amount of white cast that I could see now to bronze I'm trying out this new essence Sun Club matte bronzing powder today this palette has four different shades as you can see so of course I'm immediately going into the darkest one just to see how it bronzes up my face and it actually bronzed it up very nice. As you can see, I only did one side so you could see, and it worked very, very nicely. Now for blush, when I saw this blush, this is one of the new rose blushes from Milani. It's the Spiced Rose. I just had to have it. I don't know who I saw using it. I saw a few people using it, and I was like, oh my gosh, that color is perfect for me, and I wanna try it. Now this blush does have just a small amount of shimmer in it as you'll be able to see when I turn my head. Just a very small hint of shimmer so if you don't want a super highlight you can use this for both your blush and your highlight. But y'all know me I'm going in with highlighter today. <laughs> so this is one of the new Milani highlighter duos. Oh my gosh you guys this is in the shade double shot. So half is cream and half is powder. And both of these highlighters are just like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So gorgeous. So I'm going into the one that's on the right side and I don't know, honey, these are both so creamy. I don't know which one is cream and which one is powder, but as you can see, it is ship popping. So I'm just taking a brush, laying it down, and then flipping the brush over so I can blend it out and it's not too, too blinding, but honey, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard not to just go ham with this highlighter because it's so pretty. Now for my uh, waterline, I'm just going in with my Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in black. As you can see, I'm almost out. So I'm gonna have to replace it because I love this eyeliner. Now for my lower lash line, I wanted to go ahead and smoke it out with some of that Mariposa shade, but I mixed in the dark shade Float On with it just to deepen it up a little bit and make it match you know my eyelids today now for the inner corner pop i'm going into sun flare y'all this inner corner pop was just beaming i mean it was so bright so beautiful so pigmented i did not expect that it's so so gorgeous and as you can see it really takes this eye look to the next level it's just so so pretty I'm pretty surprised because I didn't think I was going to like this palette and I think it creates a beautiful mauve lavender toned look. Now for my lips, I grabbed one of my lipsticks out of the back of the bunch. <laughs> this is one of my old cheap liquid lipsticks that I got either from Amazon or AliExpress or something. It's just a beautiful gorgeous amethyst or purple shade. And I'm using that basically to line the outer portion of my lips. And I'm going into the center with one of my Milani Matte Lipsticks. This is the shade Blissful, if I can hold the lipstick right. <laughs> it's number 62 Blissful. And I love these Milani Lipsticks because they're just, they're a beautiful, comfortable matte. It's not that uncomfortable matte. It's a nice, comfortable matte shade. 
for lashes today i'm throwing on some of these ardell studio effects lashes and this is how they look on me very nice kind of natural but still bold enough to you know hang out with this look now i'm going in with this milani rose water prep and refresh this is not a setting spray you guys it's really for prepping your face as well as giving it a burst of hydration and so that's what i'm doing here just putting that hydration back in my face after all of those powders but i'm not using it as a setting spray today i love this stuff though it smells amazing and it feels great so this is the look today you guys using all of these new products i have to say i like this look it's a little bit different i got to play around in some glitter and I'm kind of feeling it. I think the lips go well with this eye. And this is what we have. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you on the next video. Toodles!